Hello, welcome to my channel, and I am Mer and I'm about to do look number two with the new Nomad Bosque Nuboso de Monteverde, in short, Monteverde Cloud Forest palette. Here she is, and I have already done my first look with this. This is going to be the second. So if you are new here, go back and check out that video. There will be a card at the end of this video. Go check that one out. I really love that look, but I had so much fun with this. I want to do some of the yellows and pinks and reds. I am a, I am a retired makeup artist, hairstylist, esthetician, and nail tech. And now I do all those things for YouTube because it's a lot more fun. So I am ready to get this eye look started. I already have most of my face on. I did just do a lip liner and I threw some of the Fete de Provence gloss in rosé from Nomad Cosmetics from the last Fete de Provence was their last palette that they did collection and they released lip glosses and I love the lip glosses this one is so nice I just did a really basic kind of like mauve kind of lip liner filled the whole thing in and then put the gloss over it easy peasy simple simple so let's just jump into this I am going to use I haven't I haven't done this in a while I'm I pulled out my cut crease do hickey I love this thing, my crease piece. Um, I'm going to try to do this here where... Okay, we'll go right there. So today I want to focus on the shades I did not use, which are Orchid, Jaguar, Bromelia, Toucan, Passiflora, and I did Green Spiny Lizard, but I might use that one. Really these pinks and reds, though. So I really want to focus on those, and maybe the purple. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I am going to start with, ooh, Two-Toed Sloth, starting with Two-Toed Sloth, because I did not do that one, and I wanted to, because it is like the most unique brown, it, ooh, almost dropped my palette, if you know me, and you've been here, you know I am very picky about brown, <laughs> not a huge fan of brown, so I just place my crease piece, get it in place where I want it, and I'm just going to do a nice little line here. I did dampen the brush because I want it to be like a very, very solid extreme line. Oh, this is so pretty. And voila. And that's why I love this thing. <laughs> it's really quick. So this is just going to be a really quickie look. And an eye number two from this palette. And then I will, I think, if I can get most of these colors in it. We will have used everything. But I still do want to do a look number three tomorrow. The palette launches on Tuesday the 23rd at 12.01 a.m. Yes, as in midnight. <laughs> midnight, Monday night, basically. Set your clocks. I did get this in PR. Thank you very much, Nomad. I love it. And let's just, oh, messed that up a little bit, but, okay, I need a smaller brush. I just want to kind of clean this up a little, and I'm done with this. The only thing I don't like about the crease piece is I can't hold a mirror. I have to have a standing mirror. I mean, you know, you need to use both hands. So I'm just going to really, like, define this line a little bit better with sloth, two-toed sloth. I just call it sloth sloth if you're into the whole brevity thing. So how is everybody doing? Did you like my first look? Did you watch my first look? I really, really, really liked it. I love this palette. I am just so grateful to Nomad that they sent this to me. Absol- oh, ooh, ooh, I love this. Loving. Do you want to bring this down a little bit here? This is the prettiest brown for just really doing a smoked out kind of eye thing. So you might notice, if you are not new here, that my hair color has changed. And I am a full on blondie, blondie, blonde, 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 blonde. Yes, I was playing with my hair color. I felt like changing it up. And I was going to do one of my crazy colors. I was going to do two crazy colors. And I decided to just strip all the shades out that were in there, what was left of the red and the pink. And I liked the way the blonde looked, so we're going to stay blonde for a minute. 
I'll probably do some color in it. But right now, you know what? I'm feeling the blonde. We're going to stick to it for a second. So I now I'm going to go in with Passion Floor, which is like this coral kind of shade. Bromeliad has more pink to it, and then this is the bright pink, but I'm going to go with Passion Flora. Passiflora, Passiflora. It was a very, very pretty, um, ooh, nice. It was a very, very pretty pressing of an orchid in there until I just had to smash it all. Going for something totally different than the last look, huh? If you saw the last one, I loved it, but I like this. You know, I like getting a palette and trying different things with it. This lip is going to look so nice with what I'm doing as well. Very happy with this lip shade. Okay. Nice. Oh, those look really good together. I'm actually quite su su surprised. I'm surprised. I'm supplied. <laughs> so Bromeliad is the more, it's still like a coral, but it's more of a pinky kind of a coral. I'm going to really load this on here and press it in the middle. You know, I think I'm going to do finger with this. Yeah, we'll do finger and just, there we go. Press it on like that. Told you, quickie look, quickie look. Just cruising right through this. Ooh, I like that. It does look really nice with the lip. Love, love that for me. Uh, and we're going to do Orchid last on the outer corner. Or not. Mm -mm. No, maybe not. I don't know if I like that. You know what? I'm going to go with Jaguar. I'm going to go with Jaguar instead, the orange. Jaguar. Jaguar. Going with the Jaguar. Why does she not want to go on? She's not grabbing at all. Let me... Oops, wrong spray. I was already on the desk. Let me spray this. And I mean, I think if I wanted to, like, layer and build it up, it layers and builds up, but I just want to, like, jam it on there. There we go. having some trouble with this shade. What? The Delio. Here. No, no, not Fallout. My foundation looks so good. Please stop falling. Oh, really? Really? Don't you hate it when that happens? You have like, I have a shade on my finger and I touched my face and now it's all over my face. Okay, let's get rid of this. If I can, holy crap, that just does not want to go away. Okay, I guess that's all right. I'm kind of, I'm used to just like having pigment loaded on so much. There we go. Cute, cute, cute. It's funny, I'm doing all mattes. I am not a fan of mattes. I like shiny things. I'm easily distracted by shiny objects. I think I was a crow in a past life or something. And when I do something like this, that's like, you know, <laughs> kind of muted. Ooh, 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 we're getting there. We're getting there, we're getting there. So I'm gonna go in now with Toucan, which is the yellow. This could be a mistake. I'm going to call it right now. This could be a mistake. I'm going to put a little bit and see what happens. Oh, 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 oh. No, I think it's going to be all right. It's going really lightly along the top of Two Toad Sloth and just softening it with. Wow, that softens and blends really nicely. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I like that. It's a little weird, non-traditional, but I like it. It's 
blending it out really nicely. It's kind of softening and um, and brightening the brown a little bit. Cute, like. All right. What else have I not used? I have not used Violet Saberwing and Orchid, which are the pink and the purple. But I don't think I want to use them in this look. I think I'm going to go back to Two Toed Cloth and do some liner with that. If I can find a brush. Let's use this little Lunar Beauty brush. And... I really like two-toed sloth, and I'm kind of liking the smoky eye look thing I have going, so... Ooh! Interesting. Probably not what you expected. I really wanted to do a different combination of colors with this. This is like, these are like colors I would never normally wear too, which is kind of cool. I just realized I put no highlighter on yet. Mm. Who even am I? I, have, I forgot to put my highlighter on. Oh my god. Seriously? What is going on with me? No highlighter. Mm. Alrighty, so let's go. Um, I want to take Hanging Bridges and do a... It has like this gold to it, so I'm trying to see if I could get that to pick up. Yep, there we go. In here. Ooh, pretty. And I'm going to go over sloth with it and just soften it up. Put a little shimmer in there. Inner corner. Inner corner. Really loading it in the inner corner and then just... Soften with that. And do I have a clean brush? That's a clean brush. Soften the line a little bit underneath. <laughs> We're almost done. So I was saying that Magical Mist and River Trail actually come off a little bit like toppers. I'm going to take some of River Trail and we're going to go like this. Ooh. 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 Oh my god, I kind of love that. It's just, it is really a nice topper. So, that is my, so far my favorite use for River Trail and Magical Mist are just as toppers. They're coming out really pretty as, uh... a topper kind of situation. And... Let's touch up my line of my cut crease here. So I kind of lighten it up a little bit, so kind of making that very dramatic. All right, there we go. That be it. Let me throw on some mascara and some waterline and all that good stuff, and I will be right back to show you the finished look. Back in a sec. Ta! I am back. Let's do a little zoom in, and there we go. Oh. Finished look. I think she is very cute. I have the, oh, what lashes are these? Rochelle. The Rochelle from Wicked Sisters Cosmetics from the Five Lash Set. These are a little big for me, guys. I'm not going to lie. I trimmed them and they are still like not as comfortable as Sarah and Nancy. Uh, yeah, I don't know if these are going to stay on through my live feed. We may end up ripping off some lashes during the live feed. Not the most comfortable. The other ones I really liked. This particular one, Rochelle, is a little big. -ish. She's a little crazy. But I like the look, especially with the blonde hair. I think this is really cute. And, um, yeah, I like it. 
Let me know what you think below in the comments. I know it's a weird combination of colors, but I did want to do something different and use some different shades in here. And everybody's kind of doing the same things with this palette. I'm not, not the same things, but you know, everybody's doing like, let's do the blues, let's do the greens. I mean, I did the greens the last time. Or people are doing like bright colors. I wanted to do something with like the browns and the yellow. I got kind of a banana theme. Costa Rica, bananas. Sloths, <laughs> hummingbirds, kind of got all of that going on in here. Anyway, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video. Don't forget this launch is on Tuesday the 23rd, 12.01 a.m., which means if you're up at midnight on Monday night, one minute later or thereabouts, you can get this palette, and I do highly recommend it. Really liking it. I have to say, like I said, just keep in mind a few things. The... Um, the bright colored mattes seem to be a little more buildable for me, and the other ones just go on super pigmented, but I found Bromelia Jaguar Toucan and Passiflora was a little bit more building, and River Trail, Magical Mist, and Hanging Bridges make excellent toppers, especially Hanging Bridges over Two-Toed Sloth. Chef's kiss. Beautiful. Congrats again, Nomad, on another amazing palette, and I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Lots of giveaways going on. There's a couple going on right now. You've probably seen cards up here somewhere, so go check all those out. I will see you in the next one. Bye for now. <music>